Should I feel embarrassed that I could have a $1,000 pair of shoes on with $50 jeans? Is it really worth paying extra for nicer denim? I hope to answer some of these questions and more in this video. What is going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals or the denim in this video, check the links in the description. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing $50 denim to $200 denim and providing some pros and cons of each. But please note, this is just my opinion. If you have a different viewpoint, leave a comment with what you think, obviously. And if you guys like those comments, feel free to thumbs them up. Also, I know that this comparison isn't exactly a one-to-one -one in the style of the denim, so some may view them as not a fair or a true comparison. I get that. Let's talk about the overview of both first. On the right, we had a $50 pair of denim from PacSun. This is an example of the stacked skinny comfort stretch destroyed jeans, and they have a traditional five pocket design, destroyed detailings and frayed edges, and durable stretch fabric for everyday motion. It does have that stacked skinny fit. They sit on the waist at a slightly higher rise. They're roomier through the seat and thighs, and they're tapered at the knees through the legs in the opening, which is something that I really like. They do have the button fly enclosure. They're 99% cotton and 1% spandex, and they are machine washable. Now moving on to the Kith Monroe denim. These were actually $220 shipped. This denim is actually 13.5 ounces. It's definitely more significant in hand. It's a lot heavier. It's called the Super Destroyed Monroe Denim Silhouette. It has been destroyed and repaired. It has a skinny tapered fit, and it does have the five pocket construction. It does have custom Kith buttons on the front. And this is kind of a fun little detail. It has an attached denim loop with custom branded rivet. The material here is 100% cotton. So while we're talking about the Monroe denim, let's go ahead and get into the pros of the expensive denim. First things first, the quality is absolutely much better. It's heavier. It's definitely more significant feeling in hand and when you wear them. No question, these feel more premium than the cheaper denim. I like the overall destroyed and repaired look that they have on this denim. It definitely looks like they put a lot more effort into it than something like this. The style of the Monroe denim is really current and it is a great fit. They're tapered, but they're not super skinny jeans. And as I mentioned already, the denim loop is actually a really fun accessory that hangs on the back of the pants. So some of the cons of the Monroe denim, the price point is a bit of a con because $200 is a lot. You can get four pairs of PacSun denim versus one pair of Kith denim, and it depends on your budget. Another con is that it's a pretty hefty investment considering that styles change so much. Tapered jeans are eventually gonna be out again. Who knows, bootcut jeans might make a comeback eventually, but tapered might eventually go out. So because of that, um, it's a pretty hefty investment for something that could go out of style in like a year or two. And I honestly couldn't tell you how many pairs of bootcut denims I had from True Religion and Rockin' Republic and Seven and all of them I couldn't even give away. I ended up donating them to Goodwill. Another thing to note, and it's not really a con, but even if you have really expensive denim, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna bleed on your shoes. So if you're wearing specific types of material on your sneakers, there's a really good chance if you're wearing these for the first day that the denim could actually bleed on your shoes. So definitely don't think because you paid a premium that it's not gonna bleed. Another potential con of the expensive denim is, yes, it's tapered, but it's not as tapered as even the PacSun denim. So if you want that really skinny look over your sneakers, this uh, might not be the best option for you. And, and I know if you're gonna be paying $200 for a pair of jeans, you're probably gonna wanna get them tailored anyway. So if you do that, you can take the taper in. But just pointing out out the box, it says it's a skinny taper, but it's not as skinny as on the denim like at PacSun or H&M. And the last con, and this is just really more for those people that are budget conscious. Do you wanna just have one pair of nice jeans that you always have to wear? Will this mean that you blew your entire budget on one pair of pants and you have to wear that pair of pants every day to school? Potentially that could lead to less variety if your pockets are not very full. So it's something to consider, like do you need to ball out and buy a $200 pair of jeans when you really can't afford it? Might not be the best idea to do that unless you have the financial backing. Again, that $200 could have bought a pair of sneakers, a jacket, 400 jack-in-the-box tacos. You might end up regretting it after you buy it, knowing that you're gonna be more limited to what you can wear because you invested so much into one pair. So what about the pros of this $50 PacSun denim? Obviously, they're more affordable at $50. You can get four pairs versus one, which means you can get a light pair, a dark pair, a black pair, a gray pair of denim, and you have rotation for the week. Another pro of the PacSun denim is they do have a lot of variety of styles and a pretty modern selection of jeans. As I mentioned, the tapered thing is in right now, but the skinny thing is sort of out. So they have a lot of options where it's a little bit baggier up top and then it's tapered on the bottom, which is my personal preference. And I love the fact that they have enough of a variety, which is why I have probably nine 
or 10 pairs of denim from PacSun already. Some of the cons of the denim is the fact that they could really be behind the trends, like, like the Moto denim seems to have died down quite a bit. Obviously the quality of denim from PacSun is nowhere near the quality that you get from something like Kith. Um, so because of that, obviously that's a con. So to answer the question, is there a correlation between price and quality? And in this case, yes. I am a Kith fanboy. I love the products through and through, A plus quality in my opinion. And so is it worth the $200 price tag? It's really a personal question because it depends on you and how much $200 is worth to you. If you have an extra income and you want to treat yourself to something a little bit more luxury, then this is an option for that. But $200 jeans and $20 kicks might be an extreme that you don't really need to do. You shouldn't feel pressure from others to try and live out of your budget and overextend your spending on some things just to try to fit in. Trust me, it's really not worth it. The grass isn't greener on the other side. There is no resale on this. You will likely lose money if you try to sell and potentially they'll just go out of style. So in the end, if you don't have the money to spend on the item, then just don't do it. Now, if you're comfortable with a budget and you wanna try a pair out, like what I did, I personally think that these are worth every penny for what I paid for them. And I'm really happy with the product and the product that were in the pictures really matched what I got in hand. And all in all, I'm really happy for the $200 price point that I spent on this denim. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna give up my PacSun denim and only buy Kith and more expensive denim from now on. I like having the variety. So should you feel embarrassed about having cheap denim and expensive shoes? Maybe you lucked out and got a pair that is worth way more than what you paid for them. But you would never actually spend $1,000 on a pair of shoes. There's no need to feel embarrassed. As somebody now that I can pretty much buy whatever I want, I sometimes wear the same t-shirt in a week if I poorly time when the laundry is done. And I don't really care. And you shouldn't care either. Don't let the labels define who you are. The value of a dollar, what it means to you is really important as well. So I didn't wanna make this video and just try to convince you that you have to spend $200 on a pair of, of jeans. I think it's great. I think the quality is great. I'm happy with what I got, but I'm also happy with my other purchases here. So $50, $200, do what's in your budget, but if you can ball out a little bit every now and then, Kith offers a really nice product. There's also a bunch of other brands that you guys mentioned to me on Twitter that seemed really, really dope, but, uh, but I started here and I'm really happy with the results. A lot of the denim that you guys see in my sneaker on feet sections of the video are really just denim from PacSun. So I also did a top five pants under $50 video. If you guys wanna see that, check the link in the description. And I kind of broke down some of my favorites for under that $50 price point. But anyways, that's all we have for the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, notification bell if you wanna be notified of when I post. And at this time, if you guys wanna click any of the videos on the screen, feel free to do so and have fun watching. Catch you guys with some more videos soon. Peace guys.